we're asked to find the vertex, focus, and directrix for the parabola given by the following equation, x squared plus 8x minus 20y minus 24 equals zero. To find the vertex, focus, and directrix, we'll write the equation of the parabola in standard form, which is one of the two forms shown below. Because our equation contains x squared and not y squared, we'll write the equation in the first form, or the square of x minus h equals 4p times the quantity y minus k. Because the x part is squared, the parabola will open up or down based upon the sign of p. If p is positive, it opens up. If p is negative, it opens down. And h comma k is the vertex. To write the given equation in this form, we first isolate the x terms on the left and move the other terms to the right. This indicates the first step is to add 20y and add 24 to both sides of the equation. And now we complete the square on the left side to make the left side a perfect square trinomial. Recall to do this, we add the square of half of b, or half of the coefficient of x, which is eight, to both sides of the equation. This indicates we add the square of four, or 16, to both sides of the equation. And now we simplify and factor. On the left, we have a perfect square trinomial. The factors of 16 that add to eight are four and four, giving us two factors of x plus four. On the right, simplifying, we have 20y plus 40. And now we can factor 20 from the right, which gives us the square of x plus four equals 20 times the quantity y plus two. The equation is now in standard form for a parabola. Again, the x part is squared, indicating the parabola will open up or down, but because four p is equal to 20, p is positive, we now know the parabola will open up and will resemble the parabola shown here on the far right in our notes. Recall the vertex is h comma k, and the absolute value of p will give us a distance from the vertex to the focus, as well as a distance from the vertex to the directrix, this horizontal line here. So for the next step, let's go ahead and find the vertex, which is h comma k. Because we have x plus four, the x coordinate is negative four. Because we have y plus two, the y coordinate is negative two. The vertex is the point negative four comma negative two. Let's go ahead and plot this on the coordinate plane. Now remember, we know the parabola opens up, and we know the focus, this orange point here, is always inside the parabola, and the distance from the vertex to the focus is always equal to the absolute value of p. In our case, p is positive, though, and therefore if we find p, we can find the distance from the vertex to the focus. Going back to our equation, notice 4p is equal to 20. So 4p is equal to 20. We divide both sides by four, and we have p equals five. We now know the focus is five units above the vertex, which means to find the focus, we add five to the y-coordinate of the vertex. We're just moving up five units from the vertex. We can see the focus is going to be this point here, negative four comma three. But let's go ahead and find this more formally. The focus is the point negative four comma negative two plus five, Simplifying, we have the focus is the point negative four comma three. Now going back to the graph, we know the directrix is a horizontal line that is p units below the vertex, or five units below the vertex. Let's go ahead and sketch that. The horizontal line of five units below the vertex is y equals negative seven, this horizontal line here. More formally to find the equation of the directrix, we would subtract five from the y-coordinate of the vertex, giving us y equals negative two minus five, or y equals negative seven. And before we go, let's go ahead and graph the parabola. The parabola would look something like this. I hope you found this helpful.